Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Nermodon, and I'm going to be talking about some networking stuff that occurred here the last couple of days. This has really nothing to do with the gameplay, so if you were here for some tips or tricks or anything like that, unfortunately I won't be able to satisfy your wants and needs for this particular commentary. But hopefully in the you know future I will be able to better satisfy you and you know if that's something that you were interested in or it was lacking upon my channel. But I do have a lot of cool ideas in store. I am actually kind of working on one right now. I need to talk to... Krivosh, which a lot of you guys will probably know since I, you know, always give him a shout out. And with that said, I'll definitely drop his link in the description followed by an annotation on screen to click and you guys should be able to go over there and support him. He makes awesome videos. But with that in mind, definitely there is some projects in the works. I need to talk to Krivosh, as I stated before, about getting a program per se because I need it for some visual effects, I guess you could say, and a standard conversation or you know basically just allowing you guys to understand better but definitely I have a really really cool idea that I'm really excited about I think it'll be a really good thing to kind of show off to the community I don't think that it's that well known I don't really see the big commentators jumping on it so I figured why not uh, I'm sure a lot of people are curious and it might satisfy some different people that might come and go as this progresses but definitely just letting you guys know I do have stuff in store some you know projects are never never something that I have forgotten about I just kinda suck at editing so that would be basically my excuse for this conversation but definitely I need to let you guys know about what I was gonna talk about before before I came off on my different uh, conversation that I was hoping to save for later but it kinda popped out in this commentary so with that in mind uh, I used to be with a company a network I don't really know how to explain it I don't know if they're really a company because I don't see how you could really make a living off of it. So with that in mind, definitely I used to be with a network that was known as Zephix. And a lot of you guys might be surprised. I know a lot of you guys came from over there. And you guys are directors, partners, stuff like that. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not part of that team anymore. I got kicked off by somebody that had a fit and was just really angry about life. And, you know, there was some complications and stuff like that. And honestly, I really don't care. I mean... You know, for a little while there, the first, you know, 10 minutes of it, I was like, okay, this is kind of BS, you know, I'm going to fight for my rights, use, you know, big language and stuff like that, that this little child probably wouldn't understand. And unfortunately, you know, I did win in my mind, but in reality, I kind of gave up and I was like, eh, is it really worth it? I mean, 85% of your subscriber base is inactive, so it really doesn't make sense considering that I'm partnered by other companies, other networks, stuff like that. So I figured I'd let this one go, but I thought I'd let you guys know just in case you guys came from over there. You know, congratulations if you're still over there, if you guys are approaching to continue to be on there or something like that. You know, that's completely awesome. I'm hoping that, you know, something will arise really positive from your channel. But I'm just letting you guys know, updating you, I guess, in a general sense that I'm no longer a part of that network. And my future and alliance with them kind of doesn't flow exactly in the standard placement that it used to. And, you know, I just want to let you guys know, I know this is probably something where a lot of you guys are going to be like, well, you were with Zephix, what's that? Uh, it was basically just a community channel, a network, uh, a way to, I guess you would say, expose your channel. But, um, you know, after a couple of videos I submitted over there, I mean, they went off really well. They got a lot of likes, stuff like that, stuff that I don't ask for, but their policy basically allows or strives and stuff on that kind of... Um, gain I guess you would say I don't really know how to say that in a positive way but there's never anything wrong with asking for that it's just not my personal way to I guess attack my viewers or anything like that I'd rather give you guys lots of gameplay lots of footage and lots of commentaries and that way you guys are satisfied because I know commentaries can kinda waste throughout the days I know I kinda do that stuff with myself and I definitely watch a fair share of YouTube videos but definitely I was just informing you guys informing you guys that uh, you know, I'm no longer a part of that. I do have other things on the horizon that I'm really looking forward to, as I stated before my project. So I thought I'd, I guess I'll jump into that and talk about that. But I guess I'll let you guys kind of know what I'm talking about. A lot of you guys might be like projects. You know, you always talk about projects, but you never really finish them. And yes, you're you're kind of right there. I do have a lot of stuff that goes on that you know I would love to do. I would honestly love to do it, but it's like editing is just not my thing. Like honestly. If you guys gave me a project file and told me to edit this, I would be so lost, it would look so bad. But this one, I feel like I can actually educate you guys. I can give you guys more information, more detail that, I don't know, maybe other people don't exactly do. They stray away from They don't see an economic gain from it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what their personal preference is or their ability to, I guess, look upon some matter with some high integrity or whatever. 
But I'm looking forward to it. Some of the things I'm going to be doing are perk guides, hill street guides, stuff like that. And a lot of you guys might be confused, but I'm going to basically be explaining it for newer players. I know Black Ops 2 is still in its new stage, so I figure this will be a great opportunity to, again, inform or educate the community on what's actually good and what weapons are bad, stuff like that. Killstreak layouts that are more demanding, more uh, gaining, or more respectful towards the user instead of, you know, having your stuff so paced out that it can be really frustrating when you do die or when you don't acquire a selected killstreak. So with that in mind, guys, you know, I guess this was just more of a random commentary for you guys since it's 2.35 a.m. in the morning, and I figured, you know, why not give you guys a video because, uh, again, a lot of my viewer base is now in Europe considering that I used to be with VLF and I've done a lot of stuff with Krivosh. So two different districts there, but overall, uh, I'm glad you guys chose to click on my video and support me the way you did. It's always appreciated, and I will see you guys in the next installment. I have a lot in store for you guys this weekend that can consist of a lot of commentaries, and hopefully the guys will kick off in a strong manner, but this is Nerd Mode On, signing off. Peace.